first of all, I have to apologize. I don't have the phase one whether you have to deal with the few waves of mobs um, spawning with different kind of abilities. But uh, um, I will go through that part of the scenario briefly so you understand how to deal with it if you want to go through the challenge. Gear wise, I ran with my normal Mythic Plus set. That is a lot of crit to get as much as you want those big crits on your Holy Shock. Trinkets, I used the Atreus Celestial Map and Chrono Shard to get some extra haste because I had the crit cap for my Holy Shocks basically. Consumables, you should get Flask, uh, the Crit Food, Augment Rune, and I highly recommend you to get some drums because that last room will be a pain if you don't have enough healing power or basically output to get everyone up when you need to get them. Legendaries, I recommend you use Pritus if you have it. If you don't, Chain and uh, Cephas will be just fine. Just to get that crit and output, that's basically it if you don't have uh, damage mitigation. The actual challenge starts with a scenario with uh, four different mechanics you, which you need to deal with. There are the Corrupted Risen Mages, which are casters. They need to be stunned in around 50%, so they don't get uh, that buff too high. Then there's the Corrupted Risen Arbor of Motherfuckers, which are basically archers or hunters or whatever. And they cast this uh, Mana Sting ability, which basically do, does damage and drains your mana. So you need to have someone from your group between you and the archer to deal with the ability. Then there's the Corrupted Risen Soldiers. Those are basically some rogue warrior hybrids who do uh, ability called Knife Dance, which is basically an AOE ability doing moderate damage to all in your group. And then the, the guys do uh, fixate on, on primarily on you, but they can do it to others too. And during that time, they will do a quite a bit of damage, uh, but it's quite easy to heal with if you if you're a holy paladin anyways. To deal with this first stage, keep your beacon of light on the commander and the other guy I choose to keep it on Granny Marl most of the time uh, because she's usually away from the group so I can AoE heal on the melee. The, uh, the rogue guy. Always when there was the archer guy, I used my repentance on it when uh, he was casting the mana sting ability. And if there was no archer guy, I usually repentance the one of the warriors. If there was a warrior in the group, I always used my stuns on the mage guy when he was around 50%. And that's about it. The CDs, you should have a lot of CDs on the last wave because that's really the hardest one in this scenario. Every other wave is pretty, pretty easy. Always try to keep CC on at least one mob and focus on the mage guy first, then the uh, warrior perhaps, and then the archer, because the archer doesn't do really that much, much damage, and then you can just deal with the uh, mana sting ability quite easily. After the first phase, you have the time to restore your CDs and whatever, drink, eat, go to the toilet or shower, whatever. 
Once you're done, uh, you can go forward to the next room, as we saw earlier. There's the group, which will get trapped into some kind of tail orb and transport otherwise. Then there will be this uh, five minute gauntlet, which you need to survive and then go to your group. The first room where you need to DPS the eyes, um, just uh, use your judgment, holy shock, and then heal yourself in between. Then the next room, I popped uh, CDs, the Holy Avenger, and, and the wings, and DPS the shit out of out of the guys, the demons and the bats uh, on the next room. Uh, be careful of those orbs; they will slow you down and, and uh, do damage to you. When you have killed the mobs, you can open the door, and, and there's uh, four mobs. One which you need to dispel ASAP and, and then heal those three guys. I used lay on hands on one, one of them and then holy shock, flash of light to get the mobs up. If you don't heal them fast enough, uh, they will die and, and spawn as, as warriors, the same kind of warriors which were in the first room. Then Here's uh, one of the archers, uh, which is also in the, the first stage. Basically, I just nuked him down. Uh, it's pretty easy. Use the hammer or repentance again when he's casting the mana sting. You can always use the NPCs in that room also to block basically the mana sting a bit. And here are the orbs again. I avoided those orbs. Okay, you can see here. I got some slow and damage to me. At one pull, I had like three orbs on me and almost killed me. I have to use the bubble there. Then, this is also pretty easy. Just kill the corruptor there first. And these are the same kind of eyes that you saw earlier. Just one by one, knock them down. No real hurry here because I, I had like two minutes ago on this room. Just take your time, don't get killed, you made and just nuke the shit out of them. Okay. And now you're back at your fight. group, and, and now you have time to basically get your CDs. I uh, have my laying hands on four minutes there, and uh, some other CDs also on cooldown, so get your CDs back to business and, and uh, then continue to the f last phase. Okay, welcome back. Now all CDs are done and we are ready to move on to the last one of this challenge. Make sure you have uh, all consumables up and CDs ready to go. If you're done, then open the door to get into the room. I think you can also change talents if you have, have the tomes, but I didn't have the tomes, so running with the same talents as, as earlier. You don't I need the Crusader Strike to, to Holy Shot talent from purchase. the first here in here, so, so that is something that people. you could change, to, for, for example, to the Hammer. Healing talent. Worshippers. Okay, in this I room, am, uh, uh, you're party will uh, basically get MC'd or, or some kind of fell magic uh, to them and they will go crazy and then start hitting each other and, and uh, basically what you do here you put your beacon on on two of, of your group yeah just check who is gonna be taking damage and, and use your CDs or, or, or not CDs use your beacons on, on those players or NPCs. Then the yeah, boss will go to the center. I used my the potion there, the plong justice, plong potion, and then demons. the mobs start coming to the center. I used my wings here, wings with the um, potion, and then start hitting the shit out of these NPCs. I used holy shock, plus of light, plus of light. Usually gets them to to 100% uh, by that, and and. Always in between, watch those NPCs that they don't get killed, yes. and then change your beacon to other other NPCs if they start hitting other ones. 
on the second wave I used the uh, drums and, and Holy Avenger and then basically everything I got for this one I used laying hands on one mob and, and spammed the shit out of them uh, I used my artifact ability also when the uh, phase started yes. in this last wave you need to heal two mobs only two mobs so concentrate on two mobs and get them because once you get all eight the phase will change so here I missed one I think yeah I missed one here I really thought that this this was it because I failed this so many times okay I missed two in this wave okay on this last wave I need to get I need to get the final final count ready uh, oh shit Almost what died the one the NPC sensation? there. A dark force. I still got Reaching some mana left. Uh, now, this when you got the ads right. on this phase, Where I got the two. I? All, yeah, I got two ads. So Address. you can drink. Your if you get no ads, you don't have time to drink. Or we'll in some videos, they told them they you. don't have any time to drink. So I drink up. You will have some family. some minutes, seconds here to drink, and then heal your party through. And these mobs also are the same kind of mobs that you have in the first phase and, and in those counters. So focus on the mage first. Here he's casting the arcane blitz and getting the stack, getting the stack, quite high stacks now. And now stun on that mage. Then, as I did earlier, I used pendants on the rogue guy or the warrior guy just to get the damage down. It's, it's pretty easy here because uh, only two mobs and uh, you can deal with the abilities quite easily. The mage is down and now party party can focus on the pro guy. Just keep keep everyone up and, and you should be okay. This is basically when you get to this phase, this is a victory. You can celebrate all on already. I smell the victory already here no pressure and then when the final mob is down the boss immediately starts okay in this phase the most important thing is to not heal yourself to fall when you get the ignite so the boss jumps on you you will lose uh, quite a bit of health and you will get the ignite soul uh, just uh, keep yourself low because this is basically the same kind of skill that's in Karazan, Nightbane. So you will do as much damage to everyone else as you have HP when the Ignite Soul explodes. So keep yourself below 50%, and and uh, always when the Ignite Soul uh, explodes, use Holy Shock on yourself. I failed this uh, a couple of times, but. I was pretty okay, pretty confident wow. that I don't die. As you can see here, I was pretty low, but I used Holy Shock on myself, so it's okay. You, I think you could avoid the fell stomp damage if you ran and timed it right, but I, I saw that th there was really no need for it because I could manage my HP pretty, pretty easily here. Just focus on yourself when the debuff explodes holy shock and heal you heal yourself to full you could use the corridor here uh, on, on my right but i uh, kind of calculated that i will have uh, enough dps or my body will uh, have uh, enough dps to get the boss down um, basically on time so i didn't go there i just used every bit of space in this room as there you saw me going back to the oh, Bellfire to really get even two, more room for the one. last two or three uh, jumps. Focus on your group, that's the important part here, so your group needs to be basically in full health when you when your ignite soul uh, explodes basically. And that's it. The fast last phase was pretty easy and I hope you have found peace and well Congratulations if you get past to the uh, past uh, phase where the ghosts are drawn to the middle. Uh, I think it's stage was it stage five or six. 
But this is the end of the guide. I hope you enjoyed it and then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye bye.